okay so let me just check am i audible is the screen clear so that we can start the session this is the must know abdomen mcqs for the grand fmg december 2021 session so okay so we can start the session and before that i will just want to give you an introduction about the platform okay okay so yes okay so myself dr mona lisa has done my md anatomy from arm force medical college pune and uh, before starting the session i would like to tell you how you can be the part of uh, free live sessions on the anatomy platform murali welcome to the session dear so you can use the code anat10 after downloading the app from the play store and finding your goal as neat pg you can use the referral code anat10 and you can unlock the session and be the part of free sessions on the anatomy platform now what are the features of special classes when we are talking about the special class features it's an interactive live session it's an interactive live sessions which is taken where you can interact with the top educators of anatomy platform polls are conducted with the learners raise your hand and have an interaction with the top educators of anatomy platform live never miss a session so always what happens uh, after the session you will get uh, notification regarding you will get the uh, notification regarding that uh, educator is take, going to take the session so this is a uh, this is a great way where you can follow the educators on the anatomy platform and you will never miss the session lecture notes so once the lecture is finished you can download the pdf notes of that session anytime anywhere study from the top educators of anatomy platform okay i would also like to tell you about the plus subscription so benefits of plus subscription is you can access both live and recorded version study on the device of your choice learn from the top educators of anatomy platform assess more than 25000 mcqs on the platform of anatomy which is made by the top educators of anatomy and also a detailed explanation is provided comprehensive test and quizzes are there which will help you to guide how you can take part in the live quizzes and know your weak areas and which topic needs to be a further revision coming soon it's not coming soon it's already arrived is the printed notes with the one year of subscription one and more year of subscription of an academy so these are the benefits of joining the plus subscription just go for it grab the opportunity use the code and add 10 and get 10% discount now let me uh, just detail you about the iconic subscription benefits so when i am talking about iconic subscription it's not only the plus platform but also the prep ladder platform so india's two best uh, online uh, teaching platform one is the prep ladder and the other is an academy so you can assess the benefits of both of it and um, along with the benefits of plus courses of an academy you get the benefits of the prep ladder where you can be the part of video lectures recorded version from the dream team of prep ladder clinical integrated versions q bank 3 can be assessed rapid revision snapshots and treasure notes of 2021 dream notes so limited time offer is there so we have got limited time offer for uh, the first 500 students or the aspirants who will take the subscription of anatomy will get a discounted rate for the they will get uh, the iconic subscription at a much more discounted rate as usual and another discount you will get by using the code and at 10 of 10% so total discounted rate is approximately of 20% more so you just go for it grab the opportunity and take the subscription now itself if you are planning to do so okay now updated and high effective q banks so updated and high effective q banks of the anatomy platform is containing more than 25000 high yield clinical mcqs based on the latest pattern of exam includes a detailed explanation for each and every mcqs and use the code anat10 for unlocking and be the part of this session now boost your medical preparation by taking 2 uh, years of subscription and getting 4 month of subscription absolutely free taking 12 month of subscription and get 2 month of subscription absolutely free use the code anat10 and get 10% discount so just use the code anat10 and get 10% discount now my dear aspirants i would like to give you information regarding free inict grant test okay so this free inict grant test what is the benefits of taking this is that uh, it's very important because these uh, grant test is absolutely free containing the platform of uh, containing the same pattern of questions which is asked in the inict 200 mcqs are there 26th september is the date when it is happening 10 am is the time 
the session is of three hours so don't forget to give the exam and for um, taking part in this session use the code and uh, use the code and add 10 okay to getting enrolled just use the code and add 10 this is a great opportunity for you another is the navigation flow which i want you to know about download the academy app open the app so and then self-study test series upcoming um, sessions INICT grant test 26 September do participate in this is what you have to do uh, in the mobile but if you are uh, uh, taking part in the desktop laptop and all just open the website test series you will get an upcoming test series ke um, aapko details or links provided honge so uh, that is on 26 September is the test series for the INICT grant test examination enroll in it by using the code and add 10 and take part in this test all the best students so do participate in this, this is absolutely free now i also want to tell about the neat pg compact 60 minutes 45 mcqs are there so 10 am is the timing 11 uh, 10 october is the uh, date 11 am is the timing enroll those who want to participate use the code and add 10 to enroll this and thereafter there are exciting prizes for rank 1 and 3 it is 1 year need pg plus subscription rack 4 and 10 75 percent of the scholarship rank 11 to 50 50 percent scholarship and 51 to 200 is 25 percent scholarship so just grab this opportunity and use the code and add 10 to getting enrolled in this test series now need pg subscription detail at the end i would also like to tell you about need pg subscription detail so here the details of iconic and plus has been shown okay so you can compare the uh, comparison between iconic and plus as shown in this uh, uh, in this image and the PPT of four years, three years and two years and just grab the opportunity of taking this plus subscription or either iconic or plus subscription of Unacademy by using the code and add 10 you get a further 10% discount. Okay dear, so we have done with the um, whole details provided for the Unacademy platform which is important for the new students those who want to take the subscription. Now let's start with the MCQ session of the abdomen. Okay, so soon I will come up with a um, few students has given the review that ma'am please take the mcq session topic wise okay in a more segregated form so i will come up with that detail also so let's uh, crack the first mcq a 56 year old man come to the hospital with abdominal pain jaundice loss of appetite and weight loss on examination of his radiogram and ct scan of a physician finds a growing tumor which is growing in the unseen process of the pancreas so which of the following is most likely compressed so which of the following is most likely compressed whether it is splenic artery whether it is portal vein whether it is superior mesenteric artery superior pancreatic or duodenal artery okay murli so those who have joined please let me know what is what would be the correct answer please let me know what would be the correct answer dr kostup is telling c so dr kostup is telling c what about others okay So actually the correct answer is, so I will come, I will let's show you a diagram for it. So can you see this diagram? Okay, this is the enlarged view which is showing the relations of the pancreas. So we can just outline this pancreas boundaries, head and the uncinate process, then the body and then we are going towards the tail. Okay, so yes, this is the whole outline and what you can see the and close relation with the uncinate process, the structure residing or lying in close relation is superior mesenteric vessel so this was clearly provided okay yes murali uh, kadar okay mixed bundle of answers are coming so clearly in this diagram we can see there is a um, superior mesenteric artery and uh, vein which is closely related with the uncinate process as you can see uh, in this diagram so the correct answer will be in this question the correct answer will be superior mesenteric artery a 56 year old man having the uh, whole the presentation as you can see of the weight loss loss of appetites and also a tumor is in the unseen process so the structure being compressed as soon in the diagram is superior mesenteric vessels so superior mesenteric artery is the correct answer now let's move on to the next a man is brought to the emergency department and has injured the perineum he feels an urge to micturate but is unable to pass the urine there is blood loss at the tip of the meters with extensive swelling of penis and the scrotum so what is the possible site of injury whether it is penile urethra bulbar urethra membranous urethra or urinary bladder question number second
ok. So, mix uh, um, try try which is the correct answer A, B, C or D for question number second. Ok, waiting for the answers which would be the best answer for question number second. Ok, uh, ok yeah Murali, so yes actually the correct answer is Bulbar Urethra and uh, Kadar Murali all of you have absolutely correct uh, mark the correct answer. Actually Bulbar Urethra is the most common uh, yes Dr. Kostup is absolutely right. But when we are talking about Bulbar Urethra generally two urethras are ruptured more commonly one is the bulbar and the other is membranous. So, when we are talking about the injury of bulbar urethra which is most commonly injured and the bulbar urethra rupture is just the location of below the urogenital diaphragm. So, urethra is uh, the injury is that urethra get compressed against the pubis bone in this category. Now, urine will extra uh, what happens the urine will extravasate and will, in, uh, will lead to superior a superficial perineal pouch and thereafter from the superficial perineal pouch the urine uh, and the ruptured fluid will accumulate around the scrotum and the penis. So, here also penis and the scrotum is mentioned. So, this is giving the hint one is the uh, swelling which is occurring in the penis and scrotum and other is he is unable to uh, urge to micturate. These are the uh, points of uh, uh, points for the key points which we have to keep in mind and the answer is bulbar urethra because these are directly telling you the location ok. So, the when we are talking about membranous urethra most commonly so why membranous urethra can't be the correct answer the reason is that urine is in case of membranous urethral rupture the urine will uh, accumulate in the deep perineal pouch and can pass around the prostrate and uh, bladder and in extra peritoneal spaces. So, that is deep extravasation occurs. So, uh, bulbar urethra is not the correct answer. So, the site and the most common injury which we have to mark is the bulbar. Uh, so, bul membranous urethra is not the answer. Bulbar urethra is the right answer because here you can clearly see the site of injury is matching and also the accumulation of fluid is correct. So, we will go with bulbar urethra. Most of you are correct. So, let me show you firstly the locations of the urethra. So, here you can see bulbar urethra is just lying. Uh, so, this is the prostatic urethra the part of urethra passing through the prostate and just below the membranous urethra which is passing through urogenital diaphragm. Membranous urethra passes through urogenital diaphragm below it is the urethra part passing in the bulb of the penis and this is the most commonly site of injury which was mentioned here. Now, this is an another diagram which can clearly show you the accumulation of fluid. Uh, so, when there is a ruptured bulbar urethra ok which is was the correct answer the extravasation of the urine is occurring urine is passing deep to membranous layer in the superficial fascia of the lower aspect of the anterior abdominal wall urine is accumulated in scrotum urine is accumulated in superficial perineal pouch and urine is accumulated in penis. So, all these features are relevant with what information is given in the clinical question number 2. So, that answer is bulbar urethra. So, is it ok most of you have marked correct also. So, let us move on to the third one. Episiotomy incision was extended posteriorly beyond perineal body and injured the structure immediately posterior to it. So, which structure is most likely to be injured in this case? So, the location is mentioned here. Here the location is uh, mentioned. So, we have to just mark the correct answer. Whether it is external anal sphincter, urethral sphincter, bulbospongiosus, ischiocavernous. The location is posterior beyond the perineal body, immediately posterior to the perineal body, the structure which is lying. So, this is the key point which is provided in the MCQ and you have to just mark the correct answer. Your time begins now, 30 seconds I will give you for marking correct answer. Kostup is telling A, ok, what about others? Dr. Kostup is telling A. Ok, so actually the correct answer is external anal sphincter. This is absolutely correct. Yes, external anal sphincter is lying in close association just posterior to perineal body. So, that is external anal sphincter. So, see here when I enlarge this diagram as you can see in this diagram. Ok, so what you can see this is the perineal body. In this diagram what you can see this is the perineal body where the interlacing of. 
okay this is the perineal body which is shown here and here you can see this rounded structure is important why because many of the muscles are interlacing at this location mm, so what you can see here this bulbospongiosus is interlacing on either side okay bulbospongiosus is interlacing from either side yes and next to it what you are seeing here is the superficial transverse perine muscle is interlacing superficial transverse perine muscle actually superficial transverse perine muscle and also deep transverse perine muscle and on either side the other structure which is interlacing is the levator ani muscle but if you will see in close association let me use some other color so uh, what you can see here Mm, just uh, close to it is the other muscle that is external anal sphincter which is lying just posterior to perineal body and these fibers are also interlacing at this point so if we have to mark the correct answer the correct answer will be external anal sphincter which is located just posterior to perineal body and its fiber also merge with the perineal body so the correct answer is a moving to question number 4 so question number 4 and 5 we will uh, solve together which of the following structure is not derived from external muscle uh, which of the following structure is not derived from external oblique muscle fibers whether it is inguinal ligament lacunar ligament cooper's ligament or linea semilunaris according to you which is the correct answer which of the following structure is not derived from external oblique muscle fibers four options are there mark the correct answer inguinal ligament lacunar ligament cooper's ligament linea semilunaris yes dr kostup yes dr kostup question number 4 mark the correct answer all of you okay otherwise i will explain so the correct answer here is linea semilunaris yes absolutely right so dr kostup has given the correct answer very good very nice dear the correct answer is d absolutely right so i just want the answers from other murali is also telling d yes good okay two questions are related to inguinal ligament so i would like to give the solution at uh, one point only so yes now coming to the question number 5 so fourth number so you can write like 4 ka d like this it will be easy for me to understand yes now coming to the question number 5 lacunar ligament is reflection or extension from deeper aspect of which of the following structure lacunar ligament is reflection or extension from deeper aspect of which of the following structure whether it is falciform ligament whether it is round ligament rectus sheath inguinal ligament or fascia transversalis Question number fifth. Okay, okay. So yes, the answers which is coming up is the inguinal ligament. Okay. So yes, inguinal ligament is correct. Actually, this is a triangular extension from deeper aspect to lacunar ligament. is a triangular extension from deeper aspect of inguinal ligament so it is absolutely correct so yes let me explain both of uh, both of it actually um, when we are talking about here also so we can see here the extensions uh, so can anybody tell me what is the other name of inguinal ligament what is the other name of inguinal ligament inguinal ligament is also called as popart's ligament lacunar ligament is also called as gimbernet ligament gimbernet's ligament and cooper's ligament is also called as pectineal ligament so these are the other names of these ligaments now i would like to show you a diagram for it uh, so yes see here this is a schematic diagram to make you understand okay let me enlarge so this is exactly a triangular extension which you are seeing can you see here this is a triangular extension absolutely right dear dr kostup this is a triangular extension which is seen on the deeper aspect Uh, of the inguinal ligament which is attached to pectin pubis and it is called as lacunar ligament 
Now from here an extension from the lacunar ligament going towards the iliopectineal eminences this ligament is called pectineal ligament. Now a downward extension when we are talking about a downward extension which is um, which is a downward extension from inguinal ligament is called ilioinguinal ligament and we have got the superficial fibers the superficial fibers here is reflected towards the um, linea alba and it is passing as you can see here uh, through it is passing as you can see here through uh, just anterior to that of superficial uh, inguinal ring this is called as reflected part of inguinal ligament. So all these uh, structures are the extension from the inguinal ligament which is shown here and we can clearly see that linea semilunaris is not any kind of extension from inguinal ligament. What is so can you appreciate this muscle this muscle is the this vertical muscle which you are seeing is the rectus abdominis RA. So this vertical muscle which you are seeing is the rectus abdominis muscle which is having tendinous intersections. So this is vertical muscle abdominal muscle and what to appreciate here actually the lateral margin of rectus abdominis this is called as linea semilunaris. So linea semilunaris is marked by the lateral boundary or edge of rectus abdominis muscle. It is not any kind of modification of inguinal ligament. Now moving on to question number 6. Porta hepatic uh, porta hepatis give passage to all of the following except according to you which is the correct porta hepatis give passes to all of the following structure except which of the following structure is not passing through the porta hepatic region whether it is portal vein hepatic artery hepatic ducts lymphatic vessels or cystic artery okay mark the correct answer Okay, so yes, Dr. Costa um, has given his answer. What about others? Okay, so pota hepatic region. Okay, Murali is telling B. Okay, so B and D. Okay, mixed bundle of answers are coming up. Anyone else wants to give the answer? The correct answer is E. No, no, E, okay, yeah, E is the correct answer, that is the cystic artery. Actually, cystic artery is not, uh, cystic artery which is a branch from right hepatic artery and uh, it's not uh, passing through that of the porta hepatic region. So, we have got E as the correct answer. So, E is the correct answer. So, okay, so E is absolutely correct answer. Let me show you. Actually, I will show you a diagram for it before that. Porta hepatic region is... Uh, is the reason where the lesser momentum is uh, free uh, lesser momentum is getting attached from the extension from the lesser curvature of the stomach and the first part of duodenum what it contains it contains portal vein it contains hepatic artery it contains hepatic nerve plexus hepatic duct and lymphatic vessels but it is not containing but dear it is not containing the cystic artery it is not containing the cystic artery let me show you this diagram so can everybody appreciate this diagram Okay, so what you can see here, the portal reason or the porta hepatic reason which I want to show you, this reason, so which I am highlighting with a uh, green uh, circle as you can see here, which I am highlighting here with a green circle and what is this reason? This is the reason of porta hepatic reason. Mm, this is the porta hepatic reason or, uh, the, uh, or the hepatic portal where you can see the structures tra uh, traversing is the hepatic portal vein which lies uh, posterior and common bile duct which lies anteriorly right and anteriorly left lies the uh, hepatic artery proper. These are the structures residing along with it some lymphatics and the lymphatic vessels and nerves are residing but not the cystic artery which was mentioned. So this is the correct answer will be the cystic artery in this case. So sixth ka correct answer is the cyst uh, cystic artery. Appendicular artery is a branch of which of the following artery? Appendicular artery is a branch of which of the following artery, whether it is inferior mesenteric, inferior epigastric, iliocolic, testicular or renal, according to you which is the correct answer. Five options are there, mark the correct answer. Appendicular artery is a branch of which of the following arteries.
Okay, Drup has given the answer. What about others? Okay. So yes, mixed bundle of answers are coming up. The correct answer here is iliocolic. Absolutely right. Iliocolic is the correct answer. Okay, iliocolic uh, uh, is the source of its branch that is appendicular artery, which is giving arterial supply to the appendix. I would like to show you this diagram also. So here you can see actually iliocolic artery is the source here. Okay, branch from superior mesenteric, and you can see it is giving ileal branches. And it is also uh, from here what you can see it is also giving here anterior posterior cecal and the most important branch which is uh, residing down and uh, reaching the appendix is the appendicular artery. So the source of appendicular artery is the iliocolic artery which is quite evident in this diagram. Okay. Now anterior relation of right ureter is all except. So which of the following is not lying in anterior relation of right ureter? Anterior relation of right ureter is all except whether it is gonadal vessel, whether, whether it is root of mesentery, iliocolic or bifurcation of right common iliac artery according to you which is the correct answer. Anterior relation of right ureter. Okay, so mark the correct answer. Question number 8, give your right answer. Okay, so yes. So uh, many of the students are giving D as the correct answer and D is absolutely correct. Actually, two structures are lying in the posterior aspect of ureter. One is the bifurcation of common iliac artery and the other is the muscle that is psoas major muscle. Other is the psoas major muscle. Got it? Psoas major muscle. So D is the correct answer. All other structures which is mentioned here, that is gonadal vessel, root of mesentery, and liver, these all structures are lying on the anterior. These all structures are lying on the anterior relation. Okay. So yes, all of you have to give this uh, uh, answers, write itself in this message of YouTube. Some of the students are giving the answers in the telegram group. Okay, let me just check. In message. Okay, so that way you have to give the answer. Okay, great. So yes. So uh, now let me show you this diagram. So can you see here, this is a diagram of the ureter which is uh, clearly visualizing here that this uh, ureter structure is, which is starting from the uh, renal pelvis, it is directly resting on psoas major muscle and it is related with the external iliac, that means co a common iliac artery. So the, the common iliac artery, actually external iliac artery is the uh, branch from that of a common iliac artery. So common iliac artery bifurcation into external and internal iliac artery is related with the ureter posteriorly. Now uh, what is important as uh, in the previous years of the MCQs which I have seen. Okay, so yes, what you can see uh, uh, that uh, we have got here. Okay, so see here. Uh, here you can see clearly that relations, anterior relation of right and the left ureter is clearly seen. So one side is the right ureter, other side is the left ureter. So what you can see, the relations of right and left ureter can be seen here. So what you can see, the it is related with second part of duodenum. It is related with right colic vessel, iliocolic vessel, right gonadal and right root of mesentery. These are the structures which is lying on the relation on the anterior aspect of ureter as shown from top to bottom. That is the second part of duodenum, right colic vessel, iliocolic, right gonadal and root of mesentery. When you will see the diagram of the left ureter, what you can see the structures related are from top to bottom, it is left colic vessel, sigmoidal vessels, left gonadal and sigmoidal mesocolon. Okay, got it? Left colic vessel, sigmoidal vessels, left gonadal vessel and sigmoidal mesocolon. So is it okay, everyone? 
got it this is the difference of anterior relation in this diagram you can clearly differentiate the anterior relation of right and the left ureter okay so done with this okay now moving to question number 9 Gubernaculum is represented postnatally by which of the following structure? Whether it is tunica vaginalis, testis, processus vaginalis, ductus deferens, scrotal ligament, and internal spermatic fascia. In the uh, so yes, uh, in the message chat on YouTube okay uh, so yes okay one of the students Rehan is asking so yes Rehan you can clearly what is the confusion I can't understand Rehan you can clearly uh, write the answer uh, so he is giving me the answers on the messages you just click on the link provided already in the in the in the telegram groups the link of the youtube session is provided so you just click on the link and then you, and there is a message box where you can write the answers okay so gubernaculum is represented postnatally by which of the following structures so i have got the answers okay few answers are coming up mm, so mixed bundle of answers are coming up actually the correct answer is so mixed bundle of answers have arrived and the correct answer is scrotal ligament the correct answer here is scrotal ligament d is the correct answer scrotal ligament okay now uh, i will give you the explanation also what is the first thing is what is gubernaculum so gubernaculum is a fibrous cord which is connecting the primordial testis to the anterolateral wall at the site of future deep inguinal ring so okay this is an important structure uh, uh, for the descent of testis we have seen the different uh, uh, i have already explained that descent of testis is an important uh, uh, thing which is always asked in your viva and for your mcq session so uh, this is helping in the descent of testis so that the testis arrived into its, its distinct uh, location that is in the scrotum in the pelvic region gubernaculum is a cord a fibrous cord connecting the primitive testis to the anterolateral wall and the site of future deep inguinal ring now it is represented when we are talking postnatally what is the representation of the gubernaculum it is forming scrotal ligament and this scrotal ligament is extending from the testis to the skin of scrotum is it okay everyone extending from the testis to that of the skin of scrotum so this is absolutely correct let's move on to the question number 10 transpyloric plane passes through which of the following l1 t12 l3 or t10 level transpyloric plane passes through l1 t12 level l3 level or t10 level what is the correct answer all of you Got it everyone? Mark the correct answer. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, so yes, give your answer. Actually, it is important for you to know that what is the location and what are the structures located on this plane. Okay, so yes, mixed bundle of answers are coming up and uh, many of the students has marked A as the correct answer. So L1, okay. So transpyloric plane, yes, on the vertebral level, agar baat kare, to yes, L1 is the correct answer and it is absolutely correct. So let me show you this diagram for it. Mm, so actually, this is the transpyloric plane as I show you, okay. This is passing anteriorly towards the level of 9th costal margin. Anteriorly, it is corresponding to 9th costal margin. And posteriorly, it is corresponding to the first lumbar vertebrae. Posteriorly, it is corresponding to first lumbar vertebrae and the structure which is lying over this uh, level that is 9 costal and the first lumbar vertebrae is the hilum of spleen. Also here the part of the duodenum is correlated with this. Okay, So we can see here the hilum of the spleen is related to you, uh, related to this horizontal part of duodenum is related, pancreas, neck, hilum of the kidneys and many other structures. So let me write that uh, list few important structures. So please note down this is always asked in the MCQ structures located at the level of transpyloric plane. 
structures located at the level of transpyloric plate. So structures located at the level of transpyloric plane. What are the structures which is located? See here, the structures located are root of transverse means colon, pylorus of the stomach. right and the left colic flexor horizontal part of duodenum also neck of uh, pancreas is located at this level fundus of gallbladder fundus of gallbladder is also located at this level other than that the structure located at this level is the hilum of kidneys are corresponding to this level. The superior mesenteric artery is originating. Superior mesenteric artery is also originating at this level. Actually cisterna kelly is, uh, is uh, draining into thoracic duct. So you can say cisterna kelly draining into thoracic duct. So that is also at this level occurring. Also conus medullaris. The ending of uh, lower border of L1, colonus medullaris, where, where the spinal cord lower and L1 vertebra may, spinal cord lower and corresponding also cisterna cali drains into thoracic duct. Okay, so these are the important structures uh, which is located at this level. These are the important structure which I have written are located at the level of transpyloric plane which I have written. Here. Got it everyone? Also lower border of spleen is corresponding to this level. All these structures which I have written is corresponding to the level of transpyloric plane. Okay dear? Okay. Now, my uh, so we have done with the today's session of MCQs before ending the session. Very important points which I want you to know is about the free live session. So, on this uh, uh, Sunday uh, afternoon and also Sunday afternoon and tomorrow Saturday evening and also on the Wednesday. So, I will update you about the sessions of my free session on the platform of Telegram group. So, you can have the session link and you should attend the session at the time uh, provided and use the code ANAT10 for unlocking the session. This is very important that you should attend free live session on the Unacademy platform. So that is not only that you can participate and also give me a review. Can uh, uh, So I want to have a plan. Uh, I just want uh, that I should make a timetable and uh, some of the students were telling me that ma'am entire lower limb abdomen uh, not like this MCQs because they want an elaborate discussion of MCQs. So for preparation of your examination point of view they want to make me prepare mcqs regarding topics so is it okay you want topic wise mcqs and prior information will given to you so that you can also cover uh, prepared and we can have discussion quickly of all the mcqs so i think that idea will be okay so let me know just is it okay give me a thumbs up yes if you are okay with that decision okay now i also want you to tell about the uh, um, about the discounted rate of the neat pg iconic subscription the students interested the first 500 students who are taking the subscription will get a discounted rate of subscription at a very low rate and using the code and add 10 you get a further 10 percent discount so approximately it, it is a discount of more than 20 25 percent so just go for the opportunity opportunity and grab this opportunity because only the first 500 students can get this opportunity so just take the subscription if you are planning just do it right itself and other than that i also want to inform you about the free inict grant test and also navigation flow so grant test ke liye aapka 200 mcqs ka session liya jayega that is on 26th of september 10 am uh, okay okay swati yes sure Three hours of test session use this uh, code and add 10 to get enrolled so use this code as an add 10 to get enrolled and uh, in this test uh, which is happening on the 
26 December 10 a.m. for the grand INICT test so which is of 200 mcqs so this is how you can uh, participate so you can participate in this test either uh, in your mobile or on the desktop or laptop or your uh, your uh, ipads so what you can do if you are going to uh, participate in the mobile open the app so what download the app you have to download the app open the app self study test series upcoming series and grand test series inict 26 uh, september you can participate early in the morning 10 am uh, and also you can open the site on the website site on the desktop and just enroll for the test series and upcoming session that is on 26 september 10 am so do participate in this uh, test which is absolutely free i also want to give you the information regarding neat pg combat so in neat pg combat uh, is a 60 minute it says it's a total of 60 minute so it's a total of 60 minute session containing 45 mcqs and there is a scholarship of 1 crore uh, which is happening at 10 a, uh, 10th october 11 am do participate get enrolled by using my code and at 10 and these are the exciting prizes which you will get rank 1 and 3 will get plus subscription rank 4 and 10 will get 75 percent of scholarship rank 11 to 50 will get 50 percent of scholarship and rank 51 to 200 will get 25 percent of the scholarship so just go and participate in this session absolutely beneficial for you thank you so much we will meet again with the upcoming session 4 pm again the session is there that is the uh, session so i just want you to know that 4 pm session live that is the uh, session of the continuation of the histology series who i am series